So today is Vlogmas Day 16, and it is Vastmas Day 5. And today's prompt, prompt, request, give back to the, the Vastronaut community was your favorite piece of fan art, or tag your favorite fan artists, yada yada yada. And part of me, because I am legitimately a t terrible, awful instigator of naughtiness, wanted to do a it me it's it, it's it's gauche and silly and not even true i, I enjoy joy what i make but i enjoy other people's stuff more and i guess this is one of those times when for the people who don't know me and have wandered through here because of vast mist my name's tree yes tree like a tree and i am at tentacle maid on twitter but i am tentacle maid studios because my nickname is Squid, so it's a play on handmade. Okay, now that we have gotten past that, I am a conceptual mixed media artist, illustrator and writer, and I have a propensity for making fan art, for vast critical role, Shield of Tomorrow, and Sagas of Sundry. So you can see those things on my Twitter and my Instagram and my Tumblr and my Flickr and Basically, I am Tentacle Maid, Tentacle Maid Studios, or Tree Squid everywhere, and Tree is T-R-I-E. Because German diphthongs are a miraculous and wonderful thing. But this is neither here nor there. <laughs> and it's hard to pick fan art. It's hard to pick everything in Vast. I mean, just let, let's be serious here. Let's be honest. It is incredibly difficult because this community is incredibly talented, and from from the players to the creators, somehow that implies that the players aren't creators. From the, 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 the people who play and write the game to those of us who create fan products, there is a lot of talent. And then one of the things that I've found most interesting about the talent in this community is that we have very established people and then we have people who are starting off and you can see how their style is evolving and developing because they have something that they want to create for. And that's how we get better. We, we get better because we want to make things because we're trying to meet the thing in our head to exteriorize it so that other people can enjoy it. Practice. Practice does not make perfect. Practice makes better. Okay, <laughs> that was a tangential soapbox, but it was a very nice soapbox. My favorite fan artists in the in the Vastronaut community, and I love everybody. I really do. These are just the ones that I had to put a cut off someplace or else I just start listing everybody. That is neither helpful nor efficient. But no, I love you all. And for those Vastronaut artists who don't know, we actually have a Vastronaut fan artist Discord that will put a link to in the drawer. So if you haven't joined it, come find us. I mean, we're, we're super quiet because, you know, we're artists and there's something in the fine print about being an artist that you have to be incredibly awkward and not know how to talk to people. Which is funny when you meet us in person because we're usually the most exuberant people in the room because we don't know how to talk to anybody, so we just babble. If you've been watching my videos, this is very apparent. Okay, so so my... my my short list, Jess at my2k on Twitter, who draws the most adorable Marizas and, and cute little Mariza cape. Jess at Jesse LR Leaf, who just her visionary destroyers like Crown Crest is fantastic. Octopoda, who is at the Octopoda on Twitter. And aside from, you know, Tentacle of Solidarity, their work, their, 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 most of their vast work is very stained glass inspired. And I love me some stained glass. My mom was a stained glass artist, so I really appreciate that sort of shape and color interaction thing. Foss, who is at Phosphorescence on Twitter, but the second O in Phosphorescence is a zero who's just like evolved a lot as an artist and I'm really digging the 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 places that their aesthetic is going. And Krista McGee, M-E-G-E-E, -E, 
who is Boiled Chestnut on, what's that called, Twitter. Which I feel like this is a cheat because Critical Role fandom here again, but you know, that's fair because I do do it too and actually a lot of us do. But yeah, I, I love Krista's aesthetic. I, I love the way that they draw thing, draw the characters from Vast and yeah. So those were, were my top picks. I'm gonna, you know, connect everybody's Twitters and things in the description and other things. Should, should, should y'all be interested in the thing? And not connected to Vastmas. A reminder that the Project for Awesome goes until 11 o'clock tomorrow. Okay, I'm in Central, so this is going to be noon Eastern. It goes till noon Eastern tomorrow. Since we're in the second 24 hours of the 48 hour stream, the, the funds aren't matched, but all the money that's made goes to community chosen charities. Basically, the, if, if there is a charity or not-for-profit made for the thing, there is probably a video. And if you can't find a video, you should make a video. And you vote by liking, and you might get a CAPTCHA wanting to prove that you're not a robot. But, you know, really, who of us is not a robot? And evidently, if you leave comments on the videos, it like, every comment generates, like, a penny. Which doesn't sound like a lot, but when you have you know, a couple million people over 48 hours watching tons and tons of videos and leaving comments, it becomes a, a chunk of change. So, you know, watch, like, comment, make your own, there's still time. If you can financially donate to the cause, donate to the cause, there are good perks. Since this is the first year that we have had money, that we could donate. So we got the digital perk, which just ends up with this mishmash of weirdness in it and like dribbles and drabbles throughout the year. But one of the perks is John Green playing a one-shot D&D game for the first time in 20 years. And I'm, I'm actually here to see that because that's kind of bizarre. But there's like a knitting pattern in there and Catherine and Sarah are going to do a podcast in the style of uh, Dear Hank and John, and I'm sure once Rosiana like trips in at three o'clock in the morning and is really sleep deprived, that she will end up putting like West Point commentary as one of the additional digital perks because I think she does it every year. Yeah, I, if you've never watched Rosiana's videos, go watch Rosiana's videos because that her brain is really amazing. And just as a random, you know, boost up ones that I support, I always support National Novel Writing Month. It's important. It does things. In addition to encouraging millions of people across the world to write novels to tell their stories, it also brings this into classrooms and creates curriculums for it's called the young writers program and there's a lot of support that they give out through the year for high school age student writers as well as adult writers and the harry potter alliance i mentioned yesterday their operating library project but they do a lot of things they're they're very much an all-purpose activist community and there, there are local chapters everywhere and they are incredibly diverse and incredibly inclusive and yeah they, they, they are both good places to to throw, throw your your votes in if you approve of education and knowledge and that stories can change the world which really if you watch live stream rpgs you've got to believe that stories can change the world I'm going to go, I'm going to finish my tea, I'm going to edit things, I'm going to watch more of Project for Awesome, and maybe deviate and go watch tonight's um, One Night Only. I don't know, I haven't decided yet. The wonders and joys of the VOD is that I can always watch it later. I may need a nap, I haven't slept much in the last week. But yes, I will be back tomorrow with another Vlogmas video, probably more Vastmas. Depending on when I get around to doing the thing, there might be a little more P for A in there. If nothing else, I can tell you what the final count on the the uh, money raise was. 
Right now they're at over 1.67 million dollars, so they're doing good. I will see you tomorrow. Courage. Gouache, ha, <laughs> it's paint.